Hi, I'm Gulnar from the Inclusive Interaction Lab at UC Merced. I'm here to present Crownboard, a one-finger crown-based smartwatch keyboard for users with limited dexterity. My co-author for this work is Professor Ahmed Sabir Arif. Nowadays, mobile text entry is used not only to keep in touch with friends and family, but also for access to various mobile services and to get work done. The ability to enter text on the go thus can foster productivity, social and networking abilities, independent living, and economic and social self-sufficiency. However, mobile text entry is difficult for individuals with limited fine motor skills or dexterity. Dexterity refers to the ability to make movements using the small muscles in the hands and wrists. Dexterity can be affected by motor impairments resulting from spinal injuries or conditions such as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and essential tremor. People with limited dexterity face various challenges in entering text with touchscreen-based mobile devices, primarily due to the absence of tactile feedback and physical stability. Many people with motor impairments find holding the device with one hand or getting the device out of the pocket or purse cognitively and physically demanding. Some tend to address this issue by using a phone lanyard around the neck but find it uncomfortable or fear standing out in the crowd. We present Crownboard, a virtual keyboard to enable people with limited dexterity to enter text on smartwatch using its crown. Crownboard is designed based on the findings of a focus group that revealed that smartwatches are ideal for the population for mobile text entry, since they provide tactile feedback, support spatial reference, and are worn on the wrist, which eliminates the need to pull out a smartphone. Crownboard uses an alphabetical layout divided into eight zones around the bezel. The zones are automatically highlighted one by one in a clockwise direction. When the zones with the target letter is highlighted, users press the crown to select it. This process is repeated for all letters of the word. A statistical decoder disambiguates the input to display the most probable word in the input area. It also suggests 10 next best probable words in a bar. To enter a suggested word, users start automatically highlighting the suggested words one by one by tapping anywhere on the screen. Pressing the crown enters the highlighted word. We also created two variants of crown board, a manual version that enables manual scanning by rotating the crown, and a shortest path version that automatically switches between clockwise and counterclockwise scanning directions to get the next zone faster. We conducted a focus group to inform the design of crown board. We found out that users prefer circular layouts as they are minimalistic, less cluttered, and feels more natural. They prefer alphabetical layout for simplicity and quick learning. They prefer grouping the letters into zones to reduce the number of keys. Hence, we explored all possible layouts with 3 to 6 letters per zone to find the least ambiguous layout. Users prefer crown press as the switch over touch because they could anchor their finger on it and feel a pushback when pressed. Users mostly prefer automated scanning to reduce physical effort but realize manual scanning as a possibility. They picked out 1000 millisecond scanning interval to be the most appropriate values from 500 to 2000 milliseconds. We conducted a study with non-disabled people to compare automated and manual crown board. 
In the study, manual crumbboard was significantly faster than automated crumbboard. Manual yielded on average 5.8 words per minute, while automated yielded 3.9 words per minute. Error rates for the variants were comparable, on average 2.3% and 2.8% respectively. We conducted a second study, also with non-disabled people, to compare clockwise ground board with shortest path ground board. In the study, clockwise was significantly faster than shortest pass. Clockwise yielded on average 3.5 words per minute, while shortest pass yielded 3.1 words per minute. Shortest pass was also significantly more error-prone, yielding a 2.1% error rate compared to the 0.53% error rate of clockwise. A post-study session revealed this is because participants struggled with shortest paths as they could not always predict the direction of the rotation. We then conducted a final study with people with limited dexterity to compare manual crumbboard, automated crumbboard, and the default Wear OS QRT. In the study, none of the participants were able to complete all sessions with Wear OS QRT. In fact, 70% of them could not even enter a single phrase with it. Others could enter only one to three phrases while committing numerous errors. But all participants were able to complete all sessions with the crown board variants. Those who could use the default method were 20% faster and 85% more accurate with crown board. Users yielded on average 2.41 words per minute and 2.09 words per minute with manual and automated ground board, respectively. The difference was not statistically significant. Error rates of the two variants were almost comparable and was almost zero in the last block. Participants found both ground board variants significantly faster, more accurate, and easier to use than Wear OS QRT. They felt that QRT required more effort than crowdboard, thus they were more frustrated with it. The findings of this work indicate that both crowdboard variants are effective for the population in entering text on smartwatches. But people with different levels of motor impairments are likely to prefer different versions. Feel free to ask questions or comment on our work through our social media channels. Thank you.